so Anne Shirley. <laughs> yes, Diana Barry. It's just everything is changing. Now that Miss Le Lavender is gone and so is Paul Irving and Jane is off the harbor. Can you imagine that? And you are leaving as well. Yeah. It's, it, it just feels like something important is leaving Avonlea when you go. Like, it's not gonna be the same after you're gone. I mean, I've only lived here for two years, but it still feels like leaving the place I grew up with. Home. And me. You're leaving me as well. Don't forget. Well, we still have time to hang out with each other if you could detach your face from Fred's face for long enough to feel sorry for your bosom friend. <laughs> Shut up. Like, I, we hang out a lot, okay? And you know that Fred and I are moving in together and that, that takes a lot of effort. For me especially, like, Fred is just... He, he's a nice guy, but his interior decoration skills, is, they're just... They're just no. <laughs> I'll help you with that. Thanks, boo. <laughs> it's weird. We'll be 20 soon, like 20. When I was a child, I used to think that's the point when you truly reach adulthood. But I don't think I'm any more prepared for it than ever. Isn't that just the secret? Like, no one is ever truly ready. We will never be truly ready. Everyone is just maneuvering through life and pretending. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. You're gonna pop out some chubby Jurub kids for Fred, and I'm gonna be old Aunt Anne, and when I visit you, I play with your kids, and you will always have room in your house for me, but not like the guest room, because that's too fancy for Anne. No, you're gonna have like a cupboard under the stairs, just for me. Come on, really, a cupboard? And also, you know what? You're gonna find someone bohemian, and artsy, and exciting, and you're gonna live with them in an apartment with red brick walls on the inside. And you, there you will write the prettiest, wittiest novel ever written anywhere. And you're gonna do so while wearing his t-shirt, like an indie band t-shirt. And he's gonna take pictures of you in the beautiful early morning sunlight without you noticing. So that it's, you know, like natural, organic even. <laughs> and they only drink the best espresso and listen to the finest bands. You sound like I've infected you with a severe case of the imagination. Well, I'm just paraphrasing what you've given me throughout these years. Well, um, you forgot their tea mug collection and the enormous amount of tea they have in their cupboards just for me. And how, even though they only read travel guides and modern nonfiction, they still appreciate my love of the classics and love me for it. And you forgot the sorrowful, deep eyes full of conflict. How could I have forgotten about them? Yes, how dare you? Mm. And your novel is going to be a bestseller, and you're going to be all cool and busy and complicated, and you're not going to have any time for the rest of us normal people. Well, is that what you think of me? I'm never going to be too good for you, Diana. Come here.